Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have another Director X video coming out for you live on this beautiful Saturday. And if you guys are watching this video, just a quick note, we will, of course, be going live this Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Saturday Night Hypnosis. Do not miss this show because we're going to be talking in depth about Director X and uh, all the fun stuff regarding what he's been doing, his videos and all that stuff. Now, there is an article here from the AlbertaPrimetimes.com that says Director X on swapping gender and race for an updated morality tale in Robin Hood. I read a little bit of this article. I didn't read the whole thing because I don't like to read it before I do a video. But from a little bit I read, it is absolutely insane some of the stuff that Director X has been saying on his uh, little articles and his little media tirade that he's doing. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's interesting the amount of victim that Director X is always uh, trying to play. So let's get into this article, guys, from the Prime Times. But of course, before we do, if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'm Shadow Band as hell and i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video to push us out into the youtube algorithm so it says from toronto the creative a revamped version of the robin hood tale has little time for critics who object to its focus on a young black woman director x born julian christian lutz who is by the way uh half swiss half trinidadian you know not not very not too afro if i gotta say but it's always the half afros they want to like make their entire personality about being black it, it, it seems like they're trying to make up for something but again i'm just uh pointing out a little bit of a a, a thing i noticed it says, says a good deal of social media critique and indignation he's seen over his new drama robin hood center on multiple changes to the centuries old english legend it's set in a modern day city the new female folk hero robin leads a masked hip-hop group called the hood and her main adversaries are crooked cops and land developers because clearly cops and land developers are just so evil they want to push this idea that cops are bad they want to push this idea that you know land owners land developers you know landlords all this stuff they're all so 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 bad it's so so terrible uh for black people regarding these two things and uh it's a message he's trying to push now let's keep going because i want to get to the point about what i'm trying to say here it says it's also a predominantly black cast which nobody cares except for them led by london actress Jesse Romeo as Robin, although the villains in the first episode appear to be mostly white. Now, this is a big problem a lot of people are having with the show. It is very obvious the message that Director X is trying to push. He's trying to push the typical message that they always do, which is black people can do no wrong and white people are the most evil things in the entire universe. But apparently, according to Director X, he is not doing this. He is lying literally through his teeth in all these interviews that he's doing in these articles that are being written. He's trying to say he's not pushing a message. He's trying to say that this this is just him in his normal element. So it says, as a result, Lutz says people seem to expect his show to be about racial tensions or social justice, but he insists that there was never an intention to promote any specific message. We made a modern day Robin Hood, and this wasn't to push anything in particular, says Lutz, who made his name as a genre pushing music video director for artists including Drake, Future, and Kendrick Lamar. Now, Again, does anybody, anybody watching this video believe this particular sentence right here, that he did not use this show to promote any specific message? Really? Really? When you have a show, when you have a, a English legend that is as old as time and you took everything about it and you race swapped the entire thing, you literally transformed it into something that it's not took the name, tried to get the clout off of it, and then in the same breath told everybody who hated your show that they're either racist or angry nerds or bigots or whatever. Yeah, you totally are not pushing a message. No, no, not at all. Not at all. You just did exactly what you were meant to do. No, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, Director X is completely full of nonsense. He knows that this particular sentence right here in this interview is nonsense. He knows that he uses this show to push a message. He talks about the blackness of this show in an ungodly amount of videos that he has posted on not only Instagram, but Twitter as well. You guys can go watch them for yourselves. And he pushes the message. That's what it's for. So for him to sit there and try to pretend as if this is not what the show is for, I think people are much smarter than that. And I think that's why he's so angry. Because the problem with a lot of these fake directors is that they try their best 
to make it seem as if they're not doing something that they actually are. And then when you catch them doing it or you catch them in the act and you call them out and you say, hey, what you're doing is very obvious. We can see right through it from a mile away. You're not fooling anybody. They immediately revert to the only card that they know that they have. And honestly, it's losing all the power in the world. And that's the racism card. That's why they do this stuff. They they, they know that they're going to be able to pull that race card and everybody's going to go, ah, oh, okay, I guess that's it then. It's just racism. It's not a bad show. It's not a bad anything. It's just racist. I, I, I should have seen that one coming. You know what I'm saying? So then he says, it was not to show the world how evil and racist is it, it is. We're not doing any of that stuff. But then you're calling everybody who hates the show racist? Do you hear your... I, I really... I don't, I don't think this man is actually um, self-aware. You know? Or maybe he is and he's just doing a race grift. Well, that's probably what it is. You, you cannot be that not self-aware that you literally just said the show is not meant to show how the world is evil and racist as it is. We're not doing any of that stuff. And then literally every single chance you get, whenever you get criticism about your show, you claim racism. You made an entire video calling out myself and other YouTubers as racist. How can you say this comment and then do stuff like that in the next breath? Like that just doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? The Brampton, Ontario raised filmmaker wades into episodic television on the heels of winning the trailblazer, blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. Orphan black screenwriter Chris Roberts penned eight hour long episodes set in the fictional city of new nottingham scenes were shot last summer in toronto and hamilton lutz says he simply wanted to make a fun show about a group of young superheroes and that storylines about police corruption just reflect the world that we live in ah there it is there it is police corruption now everybody in their mother knows that the police department is very corrupt especially in certain cities it can get pretty bad i think that's pretty obvious nobody's denying that the problem is that you're trying to make that into a black thing you know what i mean like you're trying to make this into a, oh that only affects black people and nobody else a corrupt police department only affects black people that's the problem you don't realize that a lot of the shit that affects you also affects everybody else but you want to be special that's the issue you want to be special you want to be able to pull those cards you want to be able to have zero zero accountability for your actions whatsoever and get away with it it's very clear that a lot of people feel that way so it's a big issue that's going on and this is why people have a problem with what he said and then he says, are some people unaware of how the world works? Lutz says in a virtual call, police abuse their power outside of race. I guarantee we can go anywhere in the world to find the most homogenous society. And I guarantee police mess around and abuse their power. Some folks will work hard to see things that aren't there or try to make something that it's not. But there's only so far I can have a conversation with someone that doesn't recognize how reality works. Okay. I can agree with that statement if you're not just specifically referencing black people. I can agree with the statement. It says, reminiscent of the visual techniques he generally uses as a music video director, Robin Hood integrates choreographed music videos, fusing UK and Toronto hip-hop beats to the costume group rapping and dancing in step. Now, I've seen some of the videos um, uh, from the music, and my God, is it bad. It is bad. Like, I know music is up to the person who's listening to it, so I'm not going to pretend as if everybody's going to feel the way I do, but that music is terrible. I mean, it is so bad. Bad. I don't know who greenlit that and told them it was a good idea. But again, everybody's different. I understand that. So I'm not going to pretend as if I'm like the arbiter of truth when it comes to music. But I just can't seem to understand how Director X is just out here completely lying about his show. His show is a message pushing show. And the fact that he's trying to talk to everybody else about living in reality, he is not living in reality whatsoever. He is completely living in his own reality where he is just this big victim and everybody's out to get him. Everybody's out to get the black guy. Well, barely black guy, I should say, more like a Swiss guy. But everybody's out to get him because it's all racism at the end of the day. But no, 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 I'm not, I'm not pushing a show about racism. Nope, that's not me. But everybody around me who's criticizing my show, they're racist. Make that make sense. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out